Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install M Auto Pitch. It's a free auto-tune plugin that is going to work in FL Studio. So the first thing you want to do to use that plugin is go to this website here. I'll put the link in the description for you so you can get to it easy. It's part of this bundle called the M Free FX bundle. So this contains the M Auto plugin. So we're going to go with the free download here. You can pay extra for more features if you want, but we're just going to do the free one. And I'm going to download it for Windows on the M plugin manager right here. Once that downloads, I'm going to run the installer. All right, go through the agreement. Just hit next and then install and finish. And here is our plugin manager now for M plugin manager. So what we want to do here is find the M auto pitch. So if we go to the search, type in M auto pitch and it'll show up right here. It's a free effect. Select this. And then once it's selected here and highlighted green, we're going to go to install. And it's going to download M auto pitch for us. Okay. And when it's done, it'll say install change of selected plugins finished successfully. I'll hit okay. Now, if we go over to FL studio, I'm going to go to add and then manage plugins. And now I have all my search paths selected here already. You'll want to have the path selected wherever you installed that uh, plugin to, so that FL Studio will be able to find it. So I'm gonna hit find installed plugins and FL Studio is going to go through all of these file paths and look for any plugins it doesn't have added to FL Studio. And you can see right there, M Auto Pitch showed up. Uh, this is for a different software. I can just quit out of this. Doesn't like that my NTARS Auto Tune is expired. That's all that is. You can see it's still scanning here, but we were it was able to find M Auto Pitch right away, so that's good. Right here, I'm gonna just favorite it by putting the little little star by it. And you can see it's a VST effect by Melda Production. So that's all correct there. Now we should be able to use this. So I have just a vocal sample that is in FL Studio here, in my timeline. Now, if I wanna put the auto tune on it, I'm going to put this audio sample into the mixer by having it selected in the channel rack. So here's my audio sample in the channel rack. Make sure it's selected. Then go on an empty insert in the mixer, right click, go to channel routing and route selected channels to this track. Now if we play this sample, whoa, whoa, whoa. you can see it's coming through the mixer here. So now, on this slot, we're gonna go to slot one, click on that, and you can see M Auto Pitch shows up right here under effect, um, since I do have it favorited. Now, if you don't favorite it, you might have to go up here to more plugins, where it will list all the plugins that FL Studio has found installed on your computer. All right, so. If it's not showing up right away, you can just click more plugins right there. But I am going to open up M Auto Pitch. You can see it's in our slot one right now. And we have it open and running. So let's see what happens if we just play it back with the default settings. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can see it's going whoa, through. Whoa, whoa and telling us what each pitch whoa, is here. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
turn that down a little bit. Yeah, it's going through and you can see it's telling us, okay, G sharp, go back here. So it's going through all the pitches there. Now you can change the speed. So let's see what happens if we put it at a hundred. Okay, it's so right now it's set to chromatic. We don't have it set to a scale. So what if we just choose a scale like C major? And you can see it's trying to force it into C major, which is way off for this sample, but you get the point there. You can set it to whatever scale you want and leaving it at chromatic. If we decrease the speed, it'll make it sound more natural. If you lower the speed, it does sound a lot more natural because it's not like going really fast to the next pitch or what pitch it thinks it needs to be at. But yeah, this is how you install it. This is how you use it. So if you're if you have a vocal that's in F minor, let's say, I'll just pick one. You can set it to F minor and it'll show you the scale here, all the notes that are in the scale. Um, and you can just set it to that and let it play. So that's basically it. And then you have, like I said, speed is a pretty big one here that you'll want to use. Um, dry and wet controls the original signal versus the affected signal. And you have just your monitoring here. And yeah, it's a pretty cool um, Auto-Tune plugin works really great. Um, now the only thing this... So one thing that I would say Antares is a little better at is it has... It, it'll, it has a tool that tells you what key the vocal sample is in. This doesn't tell you the key necessarily or the scale, but it will show you what note is being played here when it's when you're just playing it back. And from there you can determine the scale. So it's, it's not as good, but then again, this is free, whereas Antares is not. Antares is paid. So still really good. I would definitely use this over Pitcher which is built into FL Studio by default. Um, I think this is just a little bit better of an auto-tune um, than Pitcher. Works a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Just a quick installation and setup for this plugin here for auto-tune. If you got value out of this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And I'll see you next time.